Hello chess lovers, I have a very beautiful game for you played by Aaron Nimtsovich against Bjorn Nielsen. The game was played in 1930 and this was a chess simul. Let's see how the game went on. Nimtsovich started with e4 and c6 by Nielsen Karukan defense, d4, d5, knight c3, d takes e4, knight takes e4 and knight d7, black goes for carpo variation, knight f3, knight f6, Knight g3, e6, bishop d3, c5, white castles, bishop e7, c3, black castles, rook e1, b6, h3, bishop b7, bishop f4, bishop takes f3, queen takes f3, c takes d4, c takes d4, knight d5, bishop e4, knight f6, bishop e5, Knight takes e4, knight takes e4, knight f6, rook c1 occupying this c file, knight takes e4, rook takes e4 and queen d5. Well, a better move was rook c8, controlling the c file, but this queen d5 move allows white to play rook c7 and the rook is penetrating to the 7th rank. On the surface it looks like black is doing ok, but here comes bishop d6 and after rook d7 it turns out that black is in trouble. A better move was playing bishop d8, but overlooking white's next threat, Nielsen played bishop d6. Now comes this nasty rook d7 move, pinning the bishop. Rook d8 and now Nimtsovich made two moves and black resigned. You can pause the video and try to find his next moves. Ready? Well, actually rook takes a7 is also playable, but Nimtsovich found a fantastic continuation. He played first rook takes d6, going for an exchange sacrifice and getting rid of that bishop. Rook takes d6 and now comes a crushing move after which black resigned. Can you find that move? Here comes queen f6, sacrificing the queen and at the same time threatening queen takes g7 checkmate and black resigned. Well, black can prolong his life by giving up the queen, but after queen takes e5, it's over. But let's have a look what will happen if black captures on f6. Here comes rook g4 check, king h8 and bishop takes f6 checkmate. What a beautiful tactic by Aaron Nimtsovich. Your comments and questions please and thanks for watching. Good luck.